just gorgeous. That seems to be my word of this video. It's gorgeous. <laughs> I was obviously very pleased with this haul when I got it. Hello everybody. Um, firstly, two apologies to make. One, the light is awful. <laughs> so I'm really sorry that the light's so strange. This is the first time today that the office has been anywhere near in shade. <laughs> so I'm taking this opportunity to do the video. Um, but as you can see, it's just streaming through. So the light's very odd. So that's the first apology. The second one is apologies for um, any kind of bird noise or trains or whatever you can hear because I, I need to keep my door open. I'm absolutely sweltering in here today. So that's all the admin out of the way. Hope everyone's well. So as promised, I thought I'd do another video showing you some of the backlog of my stock. Um, so I pulled out an Ikea bag full of stuff that I bought last year at the boot sales. Um, there might be some charity shop stuff in there as well. So we'll go through it and see what we can find. So first up is a lovely pretty pair Una dress. It's still new with its tags. Um, it's a size 18. It's got lovely embellishment on the front. And there's a train. <laughs> it's just a lovely floaty tiered sundress. So I think I'd probably put that on at around the 20 to 25 mark. And then we have a lovely floral linen neck dress. It's a size 14. I really apologize for the light. I think we'll just have to work with it at the moment because it's the only spot in my office that I can actually film. So um, you have to bear with me. But yeah, it's really, really pretty. It's got like this sort of layered section to it at the front really nice so probably similar 20 to 25 on that and then we've got um, a jack wills dress which is still new with its tag this is really lovely i remember picking this up it's really really cute little red dress it's got um like a peter pan collar get it the right way around little Peter Pan collar, um, quite a short dress, I think might be just above the knee perhaps, depending on how tall you are. So it was 79.50 originally and they've reduced it to 39 pounds. So I think what I'll do is remove the price on it and actually put it on for about 40 because I think it's probably worth that. Um, it's something that will be discontinued now. So if it's a style that somebody's looking for, then they'll be willing to pay that. I'll obviously put offers on it and that's before I've researched it. So if I do research it and I find that they're not selling for that much, I'll probably change my mind. But at the moment I'm thinking I'll probably try about 40 on it. Okay, the next one is um, a crag hoppers top, I think. Yeah, it's like a tunic top. Um, which is a size 12. Oh, I didn't say what size this one was. Let's see if I can find it. This is a size 8. Yeah, this is a size 12. It's um, a lovely, I think it's cotton. It feels cotton. Just lovely and light um, for this time of the year, really, or for autumn. Uh, it was just perfect for keeping the sun off. Um, yeah, it's cotton um, with some polyester in it, so it's cotton blend. I just love that um, pattern on it. It's very Orla Kylie, isn't it, that pattern? Really nice, that. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, this is two, um, but it is, again, new with its tag. Uh, was 16 originally, and again, I'll probably remove that. Um, and do it for about 15 probably uh, but it's a two tunic dress 
I'm thinking probably 15 on that um, with offers. Okay, oh, I love this skirt. Here I go again with my, I love this, I love this. <laughs> but I really love this skirt. It's um, Frank Eden, not heard of the brand before, um, but it's so retro, look at this. It's very 50s inspired, really love that. Um, it looks expensive and I haven't researched it yet, so not sure what I'll put on that. Um, it looks modern and it's a size 16. So, yeah, I don't think that's vintage. I bought these from the same seller and at the time they looked as though they could be a set even though they're different brands, but um, on closer inspection they're different sizes as well, so that won't work, but they are really lovely. Um, the Broderie Anglais, this is a blazer, so just a really nice lightweight blazer, perfect for this time of the year. And then a gorgeous um, Lara Dute Broderie Anglais maxi skirt, elasticated waist, just really really lovely for summer so yeah we need to get that on quite quick. And then this is another next dress. This is a size 12. Again, totally love the pattern on this. It's um, sort of fit and flare dress. It's absolutely my style as well. I might even try that one on. <laughs> oh, lots of people have been asking if I kept that other top. I haven't actually decided yet. Um, I haven't listed it yet either so yeah I'll let you know but um, the jewelry is still out I'm, I'm torn between selling it and obviously recouping the money on it or keeping it for myself so yeah haven't completely made up my mind yet but the fact I haven't sold it yet it's probably leaning towards I might keep it so I think I might try this one on as well because it's really nice and I do have a wedding to go to in November. So, yeah. Yeah, it's my cousin's wedding and unfortunately they had to obviously put it back until November. So hopefully by November we'll be allowed to gather families together again. Um, and maybe I'll get a chance to wear that. Who knows? I'll try it on, we'll see. Oh, this is nice. This is really soft. It's Pear Una. It's a size 14. And it's just gorgeous, soft knitted jumper. Look at that. Really, really nice. Yeah. I'm not sure what I'd put on that. Um, probably go for about anything between 10 to 15, depending on completed. But being as it's so lovely, I'll probably aim higher. So I might go sort of in the middle, maybe about 12 99 Okay. I love this dress. I love this dress. <laughs> This is such a pretty dress. This is, well, it says um, US size eight. So I'm not sure what that is in UK size. I'll have to check that. Um, but yeah, this needs to be listed soon really because this style of dress is always really sought after in the summer. It's a max, is it maxi dress? It might be midi. But yeah, button down style. Really pretty floral print. It's got little tie-ups on the sleeves. Um, just so lovely. Yeah, I think it's probably too small for me, but yeah, need to get that on soon. And this is a Marks and Spencer's coat. It's a 
colour. Look at that colour. It's like a really, really bright teal colour. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Very retro in its style. Yeah, really lovely lightweight coat, perfect for spring or autumn. Just, yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, okay, then, oh, got a top shop, velvet top. Look at the detail on that, it's so beautiful. So lovely and so soft as well. It's a size eight and it is just beautiful. I really love the folk style on that. Really love the folk style on that. Gorgeous. Okay. Right, this is a Lee Cooper shirt. Again, brand new with its um, original tag. Never been worn. Um, just your bog standard type checked flannel shirt. Always a, a good bread and butter item. Um, this is Zara, new with its tags, was originally $22.99. It's a nice layering piece. Just a nice little boho see-through lace top that you can layer with other pieces. Really nice little tassels. Um, that is, well, size small, so I'm not sure what the actual size on that is. Um, probably around a size eight. But yeah, that's lovely. This one's beautiful as well. It's Denim and Supply, and it is a really lovely, brand new with its tags, um, kind of folk boho style white dress with little bell sleeves, so cute. Really lovely that. Um, that's a size small, so again, probably about an eight to 10, around, round about on that. Just gorgeous. That seems to be my word of this video, it's gorgeous. <laughs> I was obviously very pleased with this haul when I got it. Um, I think this was from the same seller as well, yeah, definitely from the same seller, um, again, Brand new with its tags, denim and supply. Um, I seem to recall it was two young girls that were just, I think, clearing out their wardrobe. So they'd obviously bought a lot of stuff that they'd never worn. But yeah, again, boho style, lovely sort of folk tunic top, stretchy, lovely. Um, probably about the same size as that one. And again, a small, the same as the dress. And again, another layering piece. This is Zara. Just a nice little sleeveless top. Slightly see-through. Perfect for this really hot weather. Um, that's a size medium. So uh, probably about 10 to 12, something like that. Oh, I remember picking this up and we definitely showed it on one of our live hauls. Um, yeah, it's absolutely stunning. It's a brand called All Tag Berlin. Uh, it's fair trade. It is velvet. Just look at those sleeves. Stunning. And it has a hood in the same fabric as well. And it is like um, a cape style coat. Trying to show you. I can't really do it justice with this light coming in, but yeah, absolutely beautiful. Really beautiful. Um, I paid six pounds on that, um, but I think it was worth it. Yeah. Totally loved that. Okay, so back to bread and butter. It's a pair of linen trousers from Marks and Spencers. Just your bog standard pink linen trousers and the size on them is a UK 14. 
so yeah I'm not really sure on prices on that um, I'm thinking probably around the 15 mark And again, M&S, um, 14, must have been from the same seller. Little pair of cropped striped trousers. Probably a similar sort of price on those. And again, M&S, size 14. So yeah, from the same seller. These are really stunning. I think I tried these on, but they didn't really suit me. A kind of a cropped tropical print trouser yeah really love that print ah oh, this is gok for two it's a size 14 s and i was attracted to it because it it was very, very Orla Kylie inspired. Look at that. Really, really lovely. Um, yeah, absolutely beautiful. It's like, um, it's a wrap dress. It's got this, um, like a mini dress, which is stretchy inside. Yeah, the dress is removable, so I guess you could wear anything underneath it, couldn't you? You could remove that and just wear a pair of trousers and a top underneath it or something and wear it as like a kind of kimono style jacket. But the print is just divine. Um, yeah. Beautiful. There's a new word. Beautiful. <laughs> okay. Um, so talking of stunning prints, look at this. print on that it's Q159 which I'm not really familiar with but it was originally from TK Maxx and it was originally 30 pounds in TK Maxx so I'm thinking probably about 20 pounds back on it but it's so 60s inspired isn't it it's very mod very beautiful beautiful <laughs> um, and then this is a Simply B, just a really cute little cotton summer dress. It's really, really lightweight. That'd be lovely for the very hot weather. Oh, I forgot to say what size that was. I think I didn't say what size that was as well. I'll go back to it. Yeah, the size on that is a size 14. And this is, where it just says, oh no. And this is a size 14 as well. So um, keeping up the um, theme of beautiful prints. Look at this one. That's really, really pretty. Um, this is a size 8 and it is Topshop Petite. Love that. If only I was a bit smaller. <laughs> okay, what's this one? Oh, it's Topshop again. Again, size 8. Uh, it's kind of a print clash. I love the print on the top, but I'm not such a big fan of leopard print. Although it does seem to work together somehow. Not necessarily my taste but hopefully somebody will like it. <laughs> Cute little bag, look at that. Yeah, I do remember picking this up now. I do love a bag. I love an unusual bag. I'm not big on like designer bags or anything like that. I, I love something that's a bit quirky and that's a really cute little knitted bag with some faux fur on it. That's nice. Oh yeah, I remember picking these up as well. It's a pair of kickers. Faux snake skin, obviously, but they are leather. 
Um, they are a size 41, which is, is it an 8? I think it's an 8. Yeah, these are good, I like these. Coming to the, the end of the bag now. I've only got a couple of things left. Um, this is a Joe Brown's shirt. Just a nice basic blue and white check shirt, but it does have some applique embellishment on it just there, which is really nice. Um, this is a UK size large. Um, and then we have a denim jacket. This is lovely, actually. Obviously why I bought it. But look at the pattern on that. Look at the embroidery on it. So nice. Um, it's new look. Um, and it's a UK 12. Hmm. <laughs> Might have to try that on as well. I probably thought that at the time when I picked it up. But um, it's been right at the bottom of the bag for several months and I've forgotten all about it. So yeah. I'll try that on. Okay, last clothing item is another layering piece. It's just a little um, boned basque. It's velvet with a really nice rose pattern on it. That's nice, I like that. It's very 90s inspired. Oh, it's St Michael's, so it um, very well might be a 90s piece. Let's have a look. Usually with um, St Michael, they do actually show you the date on the label just at the bottom um, next to the trademark and I'm right, it is 1996. So yeah, nice vintage Basque, it's really nice. And talking of vintage, my last item in this bag is a set of wooden vintage bowls which I bought for a pound. It's got that mark on the bottom there. So yeah, bargain for a pound. Um, yeah, I would be very, very tempted to keep these. Hmm, there's a dilemma. <laughs> I just look after them for a little while but if I find that you know can get quite a bit back on them I'll list them but I do love them gorgeous gorgeous ah, so there we are that's the end of this Ikea bag I do have another Ikea bag back there um, another bag for life full of stuff back there and there's a box in front of me full of stuff that I still haven't been through. So I could very well be doing a part three of this. In fact, I probably will. I just want to say thank you so much for all the lovely comments that I've had on the last Shop My Stock video that I did. Um, yeah, I had so many positive, lovely comments and um, appreciate all of them. Thank you so much. If you haven't seen that video, then I will link it for you. And... Um, Go and take a look if you fancy it. Uh, if you liked this one, you might like that one. So all that's left to say is thank you so much for watching today. If there's anything that you've seen today that you would like to know prices on, or you just want to know some more information about, then um, please don't hesitate to contact me. The links for my Instagram and our website, which has a contact section, are below in the description box. Um, yeah, you can just send me a private message through there. Um, and I'll get back to you on it and um, yeah if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you again in another video very soon take care everyone thanks bye uh. and talking of vintage last but not least is a train <laughs>